VL 3.1 is transforming AI video creation, allowing us to turn ideas into epic videos with realistic physics and sync sound. With significant upgrades like richer audio, better prompt adherence, and improved scene consistency, Google's VL 3.1 is taking AI video generation into a new era. In this Adobe Firefly sponsored video, I'll demonstrate various ways to use VL 3.1 on Firefly, such as generating video clips with prompts, transforming images into videos, and using frames to create longer AI films. So let's head over to Adobe Firefly and see what the VL 3.1 video generation model can do. So from the Firefly homepage, the first thing we're gonna do is head over to the AI video generator. To do this, let's start by going to the new tab at the top here. And since we'll be generating videos with VL 3.1, let's go down to the generate new section and click the video tab. And this will take us to the generate video menu on Adobe Firefly. From the left hand side menu here, we can select our video settings. If we click the model tab at the top, it'll open up a drop down menu where we can select from tons of different AI models. There are several video generation models depending on your needs, but for this demonstration, we're gonna be using VL 3.1. We actually have two options here, which is VL 3.1 and VL 3.1 Fast. If you want the best quality, go with VL 3.1. But if you're in a hurry, you can use VL 3.1 Fast, which costs less credits, but maintains high quality while optimizing for speed. But I wanna test out its full capabilities, so let's go with VL 3.1. And if we go down to the next drop-down menu here, we can select our video resolution. We currently have two options to select from, which includes 720p and 1080p. And underneath this, we can select our aspect ratio. We can select to generate videos in a 16 by nine widescreen format or a vertical nine by 16 format. For this demonstration, I'm gonna go with widescreen. And from the duration dropdown menu, we can select the length of our video. We currently have the option to create a four second, six second or eight second video clip. I think I'll go with eight seconds. And since we're using VL 3.1, we also have the option to add audio to our video. Simply use the toggle here to either enable or disable audio generation. I wanna test out the audio, so let's make sure this is turned on. And using the next section here, we can add video references, which are either frames or images. And this allows us to do some really cool stuff with our videos, and I'll be demonstrating how to use these shortly. But before we get into references and other advanced techniques, let's just start by generating a video using a text prompt. So after selecting your video settings, you can simply go down to the text field here and describe the video that you wanna generate. For this example, I wanna test out VL3.1's video quality as well as the quality of the synced audio. So to do this, let's see if AI can generate a video of a spaceship blasting off in the desert. I think that should be visually appealing and pretty loud. So once you describe the video that you want, simply go down to the bottom right here and click the generate button. AI will then analyze my text prompt and my settings and start generating my video. This may take a few moments, but once it's finished, your new AI video should be generated. So here's my futuristic spaceship blasting off from the desert. Let's play it to see how it looks and sounds. Wow, not bad. The details in the scene look super realistic and the audio sounds on point as well. I can now download my new video to my device and use it for my next project. But not only can VL 3.1 add sound to your video, but also sync dialogue as well. With VL 3.1, we can create natural, consistent sounding voices in our videos with realistic lip movements. So to test this out, let's add a new text prompt. For this example, I think I'll generate a video of a spaceship captain talking to an onboard AI to engage the ship's hyperdrive. And once I enter my text prompt, I can go down to the bottom here and click the generate button. AI will then analyze my text prompt and start creating my video. I've noticed that videos with dialogue may take a bit longer to generate, but after a few moments, your video should be available. And here's the video of my space captain talking to the onboard AI. Let's play it to see how it looks and sounds. Engage hyperdrive now. Hyperdrive initiated and destination locked. Not bad. The graphics look incredible and the voices sound super realistic and natural. This can be a powerful tool for story-driven content and cinematic scenes that need precise narrative control. So that was a quick overview of generating videos with sound and dialogue. 
So now let's take a look at some more advanced features for creating AI videos. For the next demonstration, let's see how good VO 3.1 does at converting images into videos. VO 3.1 allows us to transform images into videos with stronger prompt adherence and improved audio visual quality. So to test this out, let's go to the references section from the menu on the left hand side and click the images tab. From here, we can actually upload multiple reference images to create our video. Simply click the upload images button, then find and open up the images that you want to use. For my first image, I think I'll use this image of a street bike here. And if you notice, I now have new slots to add more images if I like as well. So let's add one more reference image for my video. And this time, I think I'll add an image of a drone. And there we go. So now that I've added my reference images, let's go down to the text field here and describe my video. For this example, let's have the street bike do a wheelie out of the tunnel with the drone following behind it and recording. So now that I've described the video I want to create using my reference images, let's go down to the bottom here and click the generate button. AI will then analyze my reference images and my text prompt and start generating my video. And after a few moments, your video should be ready. And as we can already see here, I have my street bike in the tunnel and the drone is above it recording. So let's play my video and see how it turned out. Not bad. As you can see, it created a video using the same street bike that was in my image and it included the drone that followed the bike. So not only can we turn photos into videos, but we can actually add multiple images to create epic video clips. So now let's see what else we can do with VO 3.1 on Firefly. For the next demonstration, let's go over how to create a frame transition using two images. Using the first and last frame options on Adobe Firefly, we can craft smooth artful transitions by providing starting and ending images. So to test this out, let's go to the frames tab from the references section in the menu on the left hand side. Here's where we can add our first and last frame, which will be the starting and ending images in our video transition. So to add my first frame, let's click the first option here. I can then find and upload the image that I want to use for the start of my video transition. For my video, I'm going to start the transition with this scene of a calm lake. I can then go through the same process and add the image that I want to use for my last frame. For my last frame, I think I'll add this image of these stealth warriors coming out of the water. This should make for a pretty cool video transition. And after adding your first and last frame, you can then go over to the prompt field and type in a text prompt describing the transition that you want. For my transition, let's see if we can have the ninjas suddenly break through the surface of the water like they're emerging for a covert infiltration mission. And once you describe your transition, simply go down to the bottom right and click the generate button. AI will then analyze my text prompt and my frames and start generating my transition. This may take a couple of minutes or so, but once it's finished, your new video transition should be ready. So let's check out the video transition that was created using my two images. Not bad. As you can see, the video started with my image of the lake and ended with the image of my ninjas. It was a smooth transition and everything looks super realistic. So with frame transitions, you can create some really cool video clips using two images. But not only can we use frames to create some amazing video transitions, but we can also use frames to create longer AI films. As you know, when generating AI videos, we typically can only make it a length of eight, maybe 10 seconds long. But with frame to video, we can extend our scenes, allowing us to create longer AI films. So for this demonstration, I'm going to try to extend the ninja scene that I just created using frame transitions. To do this, let's go back to the frames tab from the menu on the left hand side and upload the very last frame of my video to the first frame tab. There we go. Now the next video I generate will start from this point. I can now go over to the prompt field and type in what I want my scene to do from here. So for my next scene, let's have the ninjas walk out the water, then sneak past the military compound. And once you describe your next scene, simply go down to the bottom here and click the generate button. AI will then analyze my frame and my text prompt and start generating my next scene. And my new scene should now be ready. Let's play it to see how it turned out. I think that looks great. 
The same ninjas from my frame get out the water and sneak past the compound. And now that I have two video scenes, I can use something like the Firefly video editor to stitch them together, expanding my short clips into a longer AI film. So let's take a look at my full ninja video with my two scenes. That's pretty cool. This looks like it could be a trailer for an epic film. If I like, I can continue creating more scenes and make it as long as I want. So as you can see, VO 3.1 and Firefly is a powerful combination, providing us with studio quality controls so we can create some amazing AI videos. I encourage you to test it out for yourself and see what kind of videos you can come up with. So that's a quick overview of how to use Google's VO 3.1 on Adobe Firefly. If you haven't signed up for Firefly yet, make sure you click the link in the video description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.